Well, hey guys, what's up? It's Chewy here for our team after that. Today I'll be bringing you a uh, Ghost Trick deck profile. Um, this is the deck I ended up taking up with me to the Philadelphia Regionals on uh, Saturday. Um, I ended up getting three win, one loss, five draws. Um, really annoying that I drew five times with the deck. All five times were from Dragon Rulers. Um, so I literally got flipped on return every single game. Even when I wasn't stalling and I was actually going for pushes, they would flip. <clears throat> they would flip return. I only lost a one return the entire event, though. It was a uh, game one, round five. Uh, my matchups were all pretty linear. There were eight dragons and one constellar. My only loss was to constellar. He opened a lady set for all uh, all games, all three. Um, there's nothing I could have done to stop that, considering if I got you four monsters, neither, none of them were able to get to Lantern or Spectre. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get into the deck. Start off with three Lantern, um, finally got the third, and it worked really well. Three Spectre, I decided to bump Witch up to three. Uh, if you, have, if you already have a Swords Up and your opponent summons a monster, this is really crucial just to put it back down and lock it for another turn. It's also got the second highest attack in the entire Ghost Trick uh, main deck lineup. Uh, 3 Giant Shi. Uh, the instant plus is off this card. It's ridiculous. It's when it's flipped and then getting Spectre. And then after this is destroyed, you can summon Spectre. It's ridiculous how good that card is. And then... Three Stein. That's it for the monsters. I only ran fifteen. No tour guides. Cut them out, and decided they were bad spells. Uh, three mansion. To go with three swords. This also got bumped up to three. Uh, I only bumped this up three because I needed to lock my opponent, and the only way to really effectively lock your opponent is by having swords out. Sorry if I sound sick by the way, but too, because I am sick. I've been up for three days straight. Uh, three duality, uh, get to your pieces, and then a lore. Uh, this was actually bad pretty much all day. Not because of drawing, but because every time I'd use it I'd be forced to banish a lantern. Uh, I never really saw this otherwise really made me sad. I almost wanted to cut Allure because of that, but I realized it's too good. Uh, one Dark Eruption to get Lantern and Spectre back into your hand. Um, I couldn't find the other one, Recurring Nightmare. Uh, so I just decided to go and run this just to get those back. Uh, it never really cost me running this over uh, Occurring Nightmare, but I would have preferred to add that because I could have gotten Stein back, but this was regardless better. Not better, but good too, because I was able to get Jiang Chi back. So, it never really hurt. Uh, then, two MSTs and one Book of Moon for the rest of the spells. Traps. Um, I ran three Scares. Uh, scare actually ended up being the return killer for me. Every time, like, not every time, but if you can just stall out one effective turn, uh, one return, you can just book everything back face down. That's another what I'm doing. Uh, this card was phenomenal all day. Like, I'm so glad I pumped this to three. The ability to reset all your opponent's monsters is so crucial. The only thing I don't like about Scare is because of that, you have to uh, keep your mo ghost tricks. You can't really exceed play unless you don't have this. But regardless, this was really good, and I'm so glad I ran three. And I ran one Vanish. Uh, Vanish is really bad in my opinion, but I needed the the ability to protect myself from Dark Hole once I got set up, or Torrential, and I saw a lot of Dark Hole sided in against me, which I didn't really understand too much, but I guess I just really didn't want Giant Chi to get her effect, but I'm glad I had that in there regardless. And, uh, two Mirror Force, Bottomless... Uh, Deep Prison. Uh, the only reason I decided to run Deep Prison is because I was afraid to start a Spark Dragon. The second doesn't really have a real legitimate answer to that card. Uh, Capulse, Warning, and Needle Sealing. Um, 
I never saw needle sealing. Never once. Um, all day, I never saw it. It was ridiculous. I saw it once. Uh, around 7, I think, when I... Me and my opponent went into a deck out situation. But by the time I had that, we effectively had one or two monsters. At, like, at the time. Like, at most, we had one or two monsters. So, needle sealing was dead at that point. Um... I wouldn't change anything in the main deck. The main deck was perfect the way it was. And then for extra deck, as my as they all fall, um, three a la carte. It's definitely not needed a three, but I had the last room for it, so I decided to just go on and run three. It, was, it didn't help. It didn't hurt. So why not? One slacker, uh, one kappa, two gachi. Uh, Harold, this actually won me a game. Uh, when we were going to the deck out situation, I actually got exceed on court. I don't know why he sided in against me. I guess he just really didn't want me to use Alucard or something or whatever rank three I would to use. <laughs> but the one time I make Alucard, he exceed on cores me. I get this guy in defense. Shuffle my last card. I could shuffle back in my deck. He draws at zero. I draw. I, I go down to zero cards again, and then he draws. Attempts to draw and he can't. So I win through Harold. Uh, Levier. Those zero them. Uh, this is like a basically a beat stick out that I don't I don't really like acid golem, so this is my beat stick out. Uh, Leviathan, Giga Brilliant, uh, acid golem because of skill drain. Uh, this is the last minute edition. And I decided to go and put it in because I was afraid of skill drain. Tum Tipo and Zen Mains. Um, Zen Mains and Slacker Magician are two very annoying cards to get rid of uh, to deal with in this deck because of Mansion. My opponent can attack directly once they get rid of both of them, and I've actually had situations where it, I guess it's kind of a mini lock. It's not a true lock by all means, but I had a Zen Main, Slacker Magician, his face down ghost trick, and then a uh, Mansion out, so it was really annoying for my opponent because they couldn't attack the set, and they'd have to get over the three. They had to get over that four times. And then finally, the side deck. The side deck is was phenomenal all day. Uh, three crow. I didn't have debunks, and I think this is now better than debunk in my opinion. Uh, depending on how DDB, how provident that gets in the me uh, meta, I'll be determined if I play this at three again. But three crow worked out all weekend. Uh, I don't like MST, and people side in the third against me or second, uh, two to three, depending on what they main. But I really don't like MST, and this card stops. It does not get MST, obviously. Uh, two max C. Uh, two Valor, one Dyna. Um, Dyna was so good. Round four, I played Dragons, obviously, and then um, I literally beat him down every single turn with Dyna. Any like any card he would attempt to summon that was like bigger, I just got he got Warning, Bottomless, Compulsed, everything got sent back, and he drew Ravine once, and I just MST'd it after he pitched. Um, it was a Drake Energy Roller, by the way. So, there's Fossil Dino literally locked him. Then, uh, Kapal, uh, not Kapal, so Dimensional Fissure, just in case I play Dark Worlds or Mermail. Uh, MST, the third. T Roar for any OTK deck. Same thing with Torrential. Uh, goes and match. And then two Decree for the side, uh, for the mirror match. And yeah, guys, that's the deck. Um, if you have any, uh, questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I wasn't able to get any more deck profiles other than the second place. Uh, deck profile was already up on the channel. Uh, I'll probably be attending Columbus. I don't know yet. Depends on work and funds. But yeah, until next time. Thanks for watching. Remember to comment and subscribe.